for the attack. Well, it's not good. We've had impacts across the base. It's a mess out there. What's our first step? What do you recommend? We've got to know what we're dealing with. We need to send out the airmen. Send the airmen into that mess. You mean like a canary in a coal mine? I'm afraid so. We can pick the lowest ranking airmen. That's not a good option. What else do we have? That's it, sir. Other options aren't available Air Force wide. The Civil Engineer Recon Platform Innovation embraces the accelerate change or lose spirit, enhancing combat requirements and technology. The application of drones in post-attack reconnaissance and damage assessment will improve information collection, reduce risk to airmen, and allow C2 to assess the total status of mission resources and assign recovery forces to respond where they are most effective. CBRM specialists DART teams and PAR teams are all put at risk when tasked to assess situations. Using this technology could reduce the size of these teams drastically. Concise information will be obtained from drone sweeps and will enable commanders to make decisions regarding split mop and off-limits areas faster than existing methods. Airmen typically perform sweeps on foot, in a ranger, or truck. If contamination is present, the likelihood of these teams receiving some level of contamination is high. Triggering a UXO or straying too close to a damaged building can cost lives. In a local experiment to prove this concept, it took the drone team minutes to launch, identify, and report the position of five randomly placed UXOs in a field. The drone was able to survey a building and view rooftop points within minutes. High definition cameras allowed operators to zoom in on any potentially damaged zones. Our ask is for funding of five drone units, software, monitors, and drone pilot training for 10 individuals.